morning everyone welcome back to another vlog um just getting some early morning work done have my coffee and not sure what to have for breakfast but just trying to get myself organized for a monday morning i have a very exciting upcoming work trip to san diego with sony cameras which is what i'm currently filming on right now actually i'm very excited it's a camera camp where i'm going to be attending some workshops just to kind of I guess really utilize the, the tools that I have for filming and I hope that this really jump starts some new creative ideas for the upcoming trips that Marco and I have coming up. I do want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor which is a brand that I've worked with before and it is Caseify. If you guys know me you know I always have Caseify cases on my phone. This one is like a cute little Japanese snack one that I really love. I just really love the way that they protect my phones and I also love that they have their Recaseify program where you can send in your old Caseify cases for them to recycle. So we know Caseify has phone cases, but I did also want to talk about their other products, which is their laptop cases, which you guys can see from the intro i currently have a case on my laptop right now i love to edit on this computer i got this one a few years ago because i really wanted a computer that could easily handle me editing in 4k and not worry about it hyperventilating and just like the fans going off i've never had a single issue with this laptop so this is the one that i have from caseify it's the Pokido collab and i just love how much sturdier and safer I feel moving around with this laptop. The last laptop I have, I did drop a couple of times actually. It has like slipped off the sofa. It's like Wade's jumped on it. And you know, if you have a computer that stores a lot or like does a lot of important things for you, I always think it's great to have a case on your laptop. And Caseify has tons of amazing designs on their website. And I just really, really love this one. Kind of minimal, but still very sturdy. It does add a bit of weight to it. However, I don't feel nervous about traveling with it because it does have those protective edges that Caseify is known for and just love the kind of sleek design. I also have a screen protector on my laptop, which I'll show you in a minute. And I always feel pretty self-conscious about this when I'm like editing on a computer and you know, I'm just like sitting directly next to someone or I'm in a coffee shop and I'm next to someone. This person's just seeing me like with my face on my screen the entire time. Very self-conscious thing, but this is a privacy screen that's magnetic. It just goes on the screen. I can easily see and it doesn't distort like how I'm looking at everything straight on. However, if you are to the left or right of me, it begins to disappear and you no longer see what's going on on my computer. I love to move around the house and that's why I love to edit off a laptop. However, I am looking into a display screen for when I do a lot of editing, when I'm literally sitting in the same spot for hours on end. But in the mornings, I tend to like to do my work here on the kitchen island, have my coffee and yeah, just relax over here. So in case anyone is interested in checking out Caseify's phone cases or laptop cases, the protective screen, that is all on the Caseify website, and I also have a code for 15% off, which I will link down below. And once again, thank you so much to Caseify for sponsoring this portion of the video, and now to the rest of the vlog. Coming. Ooh, mama. Bring mama to the airport. Yeah, yeah, you know that I hate being alone, yeah. I take it one minute, you know my sang a kind of Now what let you to one out and there You look so fly again I think who's high in our so we better be better friends or not We better be better friends Oh we the mundane and day Oh cover my door and take it all my chances babe I bear wonder when she got energy That's how she can tie in out oh you're my queen I've been going I don't know why I'm saying we, it's just me. Um, I am in San Diego with Sony for the camera camp. Um, to be honest, I don't know how I got invited to this because while I shoot with Sony and I love Sony, I feel like everyone else here is like a legit camera and tech like channel. And I'm just over here like, here's my outfit of the day guys. I'm going to post up somewhere, room isn't ready yet. So I am going to get some work done 
and just like enjoy the weather, enjoy the vibes. Hi, let's go. Woo. All right, let's start to look at our weather forecast today. Today's forecast, a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just a perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny day. All right, hello. I have revived myself. I finally got checked into my room, settled in, unpacked a little bit. Didn't go to bed early enough last night because I had a lot of last minute work to get done before I flew and then decided to not sleep on the plane. So I'm definitely going to be sleeping early tonight. Happy to be here in San Diego with Sony. I got my little camper name tag. There it is filming on my little Sony ZV-1, but I did also actually bring my big boy, which is what I usually film with at home. I brought my a7 IV with me because they do have some kind of like sessions during this camera camp that shows us how to use G lenses, best way to shoot with a camera, tips and tricks. So very exciting stuff. Um, I also got this swag bag, which I feel like would be to show you guys before I take a little bit of a nap. No, I'll wander the grounds because it's a nice sunny day and I think tomorrow and the next day might be cloudy. So yeah, let's let's take a look at what we've gotten here. Wandered, I think that's the brand name. Lots of pockets. Also for sure, majority boys <laughs> on this trip because it's a lot of like tech and camera reviewers. Like anytime I look up a camera, they're probably the ones that I'm watching. It's very interesting because social media and influencing is kind of like a female dominated space in the way that I'm in it because of like fashion and lifestyle. So being on a brand trip like this, like this ain't no tart trip. I'll tell you that guys. But let's see what we've gotten here. I have a sweatshirt. So this one's very soft. It's from Wari. Got a little camera camp. I have a cap, Sony Alpha, a towel. Not sure how I'm gonna bring this home because I was already, you know, limited on space. I have, oh, there's like a little keychain on here I just noticed. It says Camera Camp, San Diego, California. I just seen EDC Tech Pouch. I did not bring a bottle with me, so. Now I have one that says camera camp on it. And last but not least, Sony Link Buds. Very cool. Backpack is really nice. You've got a compartment back here for a laptop. Wow. Marco's gonna love this. Merry Christmas to Marco. Okay, going to show you guys a little bit of a room tour. I have my door over here. Everyone has like kind of like these little bungalows. Got a dresser over here, beautiful artwork, bathroom over here, and then bed, TV, table where I just took everything out. Uh, I'm assuming this is a sleeper sofa. And I got my luggage over there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I switched over to the Sony 1635 G Master lens and it's pretty intense, so it's a very brolic lens. It's humongous, but it's a really nice wide shot. And then the zoom on it is pretty solid, look. Solid. Hello everyone, we're back in the room. I love how wide this is. Just wanna test like the focus on it. Oh, so fast. Okay, so this is what I normally shoot with. Like all the bag collection videos, bag reviews, all my sit down videos are filmed with this. This is the 24 G Master lens, 1.4. I'm not really needing to zoom. And so a wide shot like this is great. But I wanted to compare this lens. So we're gonna switch now. So this is what I currently have. And honestly, I still love this lens so much. Um, if I wanted a wider shot, this would be great. I think this is great for like interiors and things like that. But when I'm just stationary, I really like the depth of field in this one and the focus that you get on me. It's very crisp. But look at how humongous this is. 
compared to my head. Huge. I actually love filming with this camera. Maybe I need to bring this to Japan. This is the size difference between these two lenses. That's crazy. I need to head over to dinner, but I wanted to show you my little KonMari Orbit key. I put all of my like tech stuff in here and look at it. It's just nice and organized. This is gonna fall, but look at that. All my chargers and stuff. backpack early because this camera stuff is so heavy and I swear part of my back problems is from always carrying a heavy bag on this shoulder it's probably like messed me up even more so wearing Kate cuts tee Lululemon leggings and just my Hermes boots and this backpack which is actually so comfy definitely a much cooler day compared to yesterday granted it's only like what time is it? It's probably like 8 a.m. Going to head over to the island market, get myself a cup of coffee, and then we're gonna head to breakfast, and then they have an announcement at 9. So, which I think is about the new camera. But yeah, not gonna lie. They have a great ice caramel macchiato here. Good morning everyone, it is day two of camera camp, also the last day. Got my backpack on, going to head to breakfast, grab some coffee. And everybody at YouTube cares about creators and cares about like all these different cohorts of creators because as we all know, creators aren't one person. There's just so many different kinds. Now filming on a 21.8 lens, not bad yeah, for arm slide. Really Good travel camera, except it's kind of heavy, so not sure if I'm willing to pull this kind of weight when I'm walking around, because if someone like knocks into me, <laughs> I'm done for. If you wanna be my lover, you have got to give. Take it, it's too easy, but that's the way it is. Hello everyone, I'm back in my room. I got a bit of work done. I'm currently filming right now on the Sony ZV-E1, which is the latest alpha camera to come out, which is honestly the perfect 
travel vlogger camera and I think what's amazing about this camera is they really designed it for the self shooter and there's so many little features within this camera that I personally really really love my setup at home or my gear at home is I am either shooting on my iPhone because it's the easiest or I have my little Sony ZV-1 which I've loved for so long and then I'm shooting with my a7 IV this one I have a G Master lens on. This is a 24 1.4. Obviously, this camera does not have a removable lens. So I highly recommend this if you are a creator that is just starting out. This is the first time I've ever been invited by Sony. So I feel so honored to be here and I want to do right by you guys. And hopefully this is helpful in case anyone is looking for a new camera. So I highly recommend that if you're just starting out and you're getting comfortable talking in front of a camera, bringing it out, I recommend the ZV-1. This is a great little compact camera that really gets the job done. You can turn it this way and you know, it's got a bit of a zoom. It has like all of the features that you want as you're just starting out your YouTube channel, your TikTok or whatever you want to do. If you are looking to say step up, and you want to go full frame mirrorless, this camera is really amazing. Like I wanna show you just how quick it is when it comes to focusing. So if you're showing products and then suddenly you take it out of frame, that focus was so sharp. And then obviously like because I had this camera and I wanted something a bit more professional at home, I have my a7 IV, which I love, but this is not a camera I wanna be bringing out with me, traveling with, so this, stays at home. Also such a big lens for me to be keeping at an arm's length and it does get quite heavy. So it's not really my ideal system to be working with. I was looking for something that kind of was like an in-between and that is exactly what Sony launched on this trip. Sony ZV-E1 is a perfect camera for anyone that is a self shooter. And what I mean by that is that if you don't have someone behind the camera, which I feel like is the case for a lot of content creators, this camera is so good at just knowing exactly what's happening in front of the camera. If someone else were to enter this frame, this camera would pick it up and adjust that focus. And even just like me showing a product, it's so fast in that response, right? It's really great for content creators that are doing reviews or if you're doing beauty and you want to show products and then show the application. A couple of other features that I've really loved about this is the stabilization, which I feel like is lacking with this one. So this camera, I don't really typically like to walk and talk with, but this one I have seen smoother footage and there's also additional features to even improve the default stabilization features. Obviously, like I'm only having this camera for 48 hours, but I've been very impressed with what I've seen. To be honest, I've already pre-ordered it. That's how impressed I am with this. And this is the kit lens that comes with it. You can obviously do it body only if you already have a lens system that you want to use it with. This one currently is a 21.8. I get like a really good wide shot. So I'm very happy with this one as well. And obviously because it's a 1.8, have a really sharp focus on it. And it's really great for that kind of dynamic flow. And I feel like it's going to be a great camera for content creators. Also, the battery life on this has been insane. I've been filming with it ever since we got it yesterday morning, and I'm currently at 27%, so very, very happy about that. This camera also allows you to load your own LUTs, which I've never done before, but I might, you know, attempt it now. But yeah, just super happy with it, and I wanted to share this with you guys as I'm learning all of this information. I will be returning the camera tonight before I leave. I understand that this is definitely a lot more techy in terms of my usual content, but I know a lot of you guys are aspiring creators. And so hopefully this is helpful information in case you are shopping around for a new camera. I'm hoping to play around with it a little bit more once I actually get my hands on it. But yeah, that is pretty much it for now. I will probably be making a separate vlog for when I head over to LA just because it's gonna be a different vibe. I am so grateful for Sony for bringing me onto this trip. I learned so much. I've met so many amazing people and so many creators. And so it was really nice to kind of just get to learn a little bit more about tips and tricks and tools that other people are doing to create their content. Always nice when you can bounce ideas off of people that are doing the same thing in terms of like 
creating content, but everyone's doing different topics such as travel, food, fashion, lifestyle. So it's really awesome. Had a lot of fun here. The weather is holding up really well. So I think I'm just gonna play around with this camera a little bit more and we're gonna get into some B-rolls and I will probably wrap this up afterwards. Last day. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself. Hopefully you all enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys in LA.